All right, hey you guys. So I thought I would do a little show and tell today on what we're using for our live stream at St. Philip where uh, where I work. So here's what we got. So this is the camera that we're currently using. Um, we have four of these um, by PTZ Optics and they're robotic. Um, so we can control them remotely from a joystick here. And um, this is our fourth camera that is gonna be installed um, above the altar here so we can catch things coming down the aisle. Um, what's great about them is that um, they have an optical zoom. So we have three uh, 30 optical zoom, you know, 30 times optical zoom cameras here, um, 30x. Got one house left, we have one center, and we have one house right. So that way we can have one on the, you know, on the uh, ambo, we can have one on the altar, um, and we don't have to be repositioning the camera, you know, for different shots. Um, one center is going to help us catch processions and also baptisms, you know, on our baptismal font here. So um, there's different ways to connect cameras. Um, the standard for a while has been to use SDI. That's a coaxial cable, like what you'd run from, you know, for your cable box or your, uh, your satellite dish, you know, into your house. Um, it can go, you know, 300 feet. Um, but what it requires is you also have to run a power source for the camera. So instead we went with a newer, um, standard, uh, that is an ethernet cable. So, uh, it's power over ethernet. And, um, so all we have to do is run an ethernet cable to each camera. Um, and it gets its power from that cable. So a lot less mess for um, putting our sanctuary together and uh, getting those cameras working. It's pretty cool. It, it centers itself when you turn it on, gets itself all positioned. Um, as I mentioned, they're controlled from the joystick here. So what we did is we ran fiber into the main church um, and uh, we have this switcher that does provides power. So each Ethernet port provides power to the camera. And we, you can see we got a lot of things plugged in here. Um, but uh, as well as our computer. So our computer is tapped into that. Um, the computer we're using is, we're actually using a Dell Precision 5550. And I, I, I went with a... Um, a laptop because actually we have a second sanctuary where we have another camera installed and I wanted a system that would be portable that I could just take from the main church into um, our other uh, chapel um, for events there and uh, um, this has a uh, six core i7 processor and a uh, four gigabyte dedicated graphics as well, um, which is important um, for encoding and decoding. You can take that work off of the main processor of the computer. And we have it set up on uh, with a couple external monitors here. Um, we are using Livestream Studio 6, which is a product that's now owned by Vimeo. Um, it's very user-friendly. We basically went with that because we first started streaming with a Mevo camera and uh, Livestream Studio allowed us to connect our computer to um, the Mevo um, just to help us uh, with doing a multi-camera shoot. So we used two Mevos for a while until we got our, our new cameras, which are much more pricey. Um, Mevo uh, you know, this is around $400, and, and this is about a $2,000 camera right here. So it is an investment. Um, 
We have ex extra monitors so we can monitor our, how our feeds are doing on our social media. Um, also, you can expand um, parts of your live stream software. Um, but what's great about Livestream Studio is it is very user friendly and our volunteer base can operate it um, without a lot of complication. It syncs the audio and a lot of things kind of very seamlessly. Um, and it takes care of your simulcast license. So Vimeo, um, it's a $900 a year subscription, but it, it includes the software and it includes simulcasting. So, um, so that's kind of helpful. So that's it for the day. Um, share what you're using if you want and uh, message me if you have any questions. Um, God bless.